And breaking off the top tonight, retired Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens has died at the age of 99. Stevens was nominated to the high court by President Gerald Ford. I am confident that he will bring both professional and personal qualities of the highest order to the Supreme Court. And Stevens served for nearly 35 years, becoming a leader for the liberal side of the bench. His influence on a number of issues continues to be felt today. Blaine Alexander has a look back at his life and legacy. Appointed by a Republican president and labeled a moderate conservative, Justice John Paul Stevens became one of the Supreme Court's leading liberals in his 34 years on the bench. I really don't think I have changed, and I still consider myself quite conservative. Justice Stevens was center stage as the high court shifted from left to right, known as much for his signature bow ties as his clearly written opinions. Early on, he voted to reinstate the death penalty, but later came to question capital punishment. He supported limits on police powers and favored free speech, but ruled against prayer in schools. When Justice Stevens was on the losing side, he was a prolific dissenter, notably opposing a landmark ruling that allowed corporations to pump money into political campaigns. Justice Stevens left the bench at age 90, the third longest serving justice in Supreme Court history. A father of four and grandfather of seven, in retirement, Justice Stevens was outspoken, calling for a repeal of the Second Amendment following the 2018 school shooting in Parkland, Florida. He felt very strongly about his convictions and principles, and if he saw a case differently than everyone else, uh, he would not think twice about writing an opinion, writing a dissent, and standing alone. Justice John Paul Stevens, leaving a legacy of public service and a lasting mark on the nation's highest court. Blaine Alexander, NBC News, Washington. And the tributes are coming in tonight. Susan Ford Bales, the daughter of President Ford and Betty Ford, putting out this statement tonight. She said, quote, I was saddened to learn of the death of the U.S. Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens. America has lost a brilliant jurist and patriot. Lady Justice has lost a tireless champion. And I have lost a special friend. She also included a personal letter that President Ford wrote before he passed, praising Stevens. In that letter, he wrote, quote, I am prepared to allow history's judgment of my term in office to rest, if necessary, exclusively on my nomination of John Paul Stevens. He has served his nation well at all times, carrying out his judicial duties with dignity, intellect, and without partisan political concerns. Justice Stevens has made me and our fellow citizens proud of my decision.